Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Pyanodons playthrough. It's your ghostified gamer. I found some alien remains. Whoa. We're going to dig them up today. Ancient remains. Now, one thing I, uh, I know about these. They've been around. Uh, but there's two sizes of these, which is kind of interesting. I was, I'm out here, way out here. Um, this is the bio, the body part reclaiming area. And here's another phosphorus rock here. I might, I'll tap that one. I ran out of rail. Ugh. I gotta go get more rail. I forgot. Over here, we have a big ancient remains. Now, there's a different miner for this. And we don't have the have the technology unlocked, so we have to look around. It, it sucks because it says phosphate rock, and where we are over here, it says phosphate rock. But you have to zoom in to see what it is. And so on the map view, you're not going to know. Like we don't know what this one is. It could be a big. It could be a, a regular. I went anyway, so I went ahead and set all this up, but let me show you what I did over here. Uh, as promised, I ripped up zinc. And I don't know why I did this, don't ask me. This is a TSM stop times two, so this can come out. But, ooh, zinc is gone. And let me tell you, that zinc was just getting chewed up with all the building I've done in the last, last couple of sessions here so every time you build something the whole base comes alive like i said every little piece in this base everything from you know from uh what antimony up to zinc all the whole, whole alphabet is running in this base so when you, when you pull a green circuit you know out of the mix and you have to replace it oh look at this there it is aluminium that is our next project We'll go over that in a second, though. Um, oh, look at this. I'm all the way up here now. I've been going down as I need things. I, I spin them up in the machines and move on down. So I'm all the way up to here now. And okay, now put this in, let's put this in perspective. We are only on tier one stuff. Okay, we haven't even, we're not even 25% done with the game yet. You know, the mod. It's insane. Well, let's get this going here. We'll pop that in there. We got a cool little miner. Looks like it's dip drilling in and doing all this cool stuff. It's got a, some screening over here. Pretty cool building. I like the the chromey, chrome look to it, too. The pipes and stuff. That's neat. All right, so what does this need? This needs a drill head, which we have. And, oh, I can delete that there. Um, and it has the need for syngas. There you go. The drill head is on LTN. And so what I did is I set up LTN to bring me uh, to th a threshold of 40, which means that if it drops to 10, then we're gonna bring drill heads. So let's go ahead and request these. Drill head. There we go. Five megajoules. And we're oh, it goes to stacks. Uh, I want um, 50. Okay. Now it should call this thing. I hope. There he goes. Yay. Cool. Now notice how it's saying 50 here. And. We want to have enough on hand, you know, to do the drilling. While that goes and picks up our thing, our stuff, let's set this up here for Syngas. We'll go A signal. That'll be our trigger. And then we're going to go um, 10. Uh, let's go 3,000. Don't. This isn't going to be a high throughput thing. And then Syngas. Finally not calling it Synth Gas. <laughs> Okay, there's that. And then we got the train collar here. Train's on the way compared to the A signal, which is going to be one in this case. And then sin gas. There we go. And then we have this wonderful C to copy that signal over to the next 
box, which is awesome. Now we have two trains. And where are you? Oh, there you are. Glad you could join us. It'll probably call two trains. Cool, look at that. Oh, look, see? It's got these little... It's kind of... They're ja like jackhammering, I think. The uh, phosphate rock out. Ooh, that's slow. Yeah, I think we'll just let this run. I could cap it, though. I don't know. We'll let it run. There we go. Let's see here. So we have 16 in there. When it drops to 9 or 10, I think it's 10, it'll call another train. Cool. All right. Good use of Syngas, too. So a lot of technologies that we that are coming, you know, all these things we're setting up, we're not using them a lot. You know, Syngas is for mining, obviously. And then there's coal gas for uh, aluminum. So, you know, we're going to use them more and more as we go, which is kind of cool. Okay, I had to make a cut there. I was going down the rabbit hole, and it was like nine minutes. I had to chop it out. <laughs> it's just nuts. I had to take a. I had to really take a look at this chain here. Here's the plan. All right, and I wanted. To, I also had to wanted to keep this in because we spun up our first phosphorus mine, and I didn't want to cut that out. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm looking at the usage of a phosphorus rock, and we need the powder phosphorus rock for our aluminium we also might want it later on for this buffer solution and all these other things here so i'm not too sure how much of this we're going to need but it doesn't look like it's going to be a lot i mean we have molten we have stainless steel though uh molten stainless steel 70 50 so there's two different recipes there this is a really far off for us but it's a necessary, I think we're, what we'll do is we'll LTN the phosphorus rock here. Because we're not going to get a lot out of this. It's very slow. And we're going to have to tap multiple of these. Phosphorus rock on the LTN network. Grab it. Maybe we'll go somewhere else with it. I don't want to tie up an L a train with TSM. Let's look at the, what we're looking at here is phosphorus rock, the powder. And we need this for aluminium. <laughs> we need ash pure sand this the powder phosphorus rock and syngas well we already have syngas here we could pipe that out go you know so what i'm looking to do is do the phosphorus acid here as well pure sand is not difficult ash we have and and this will have on site so we just have to bring these two in to complete this process here and it is also used in hydrofluoric acid then we got this metallic glass and all this other junk later on stuff. We click on this one. Now we're going to have to bring in wood and, and we can do steam on site, no problem. And then we take the phosphorus acid and we create a little loop here. We get the gas, phosphoric acid, and hydrofluoric, which I don't know if we have an answer for. And I don't know if we can vent it because this is in an aqueous um, situation here. Usually, if it's not aqueous, you can't vent it in, from what I've seen. In uh, Nullius, that was the case for chlorine. Now, this is a loop here. We generate this phosphoric acid and the gas. The gas gets turned back into phosphoric acid, so we kind of loop it around. And then we, we get rid of this. We'll prioritize getting rid of this before we generate more or whatever. Well, it, it's a... We don't want this to back up because then uh, it'll stop this process here from happening because the output will get backed up. So we'll have to process this for over this, but I don't think we'll have to worry too much about it. Now, we need this for the aluminum processing, but we also need it for later on a bunch of other crap. Uh, I think it's, yeah, I don't know about this stuff here. I have no idea. Reagents and stuff. This then is used in our aluminum aluminum pulp stage one uh back here is barreling and then we have a bunch of stuff we haven't unlocked here antimony phosphate using the oxide and, and then that uh some other weight crazy stuff we looked at the oh graphene roll wow look at that um lots of weird stuff lots of weird stuff that now, and that's why I'm thinking maybe I should be doing the this stuff here. 
because it's a whole chain of mess. What I'll do, I'm gonna switch this over here. I'm gonna pull out the power pole. I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, I'm gonna, f yeah, I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, crap. Not enough, um, there we go. Not enough in there, and I'll pull that out, and I'll flip it there. Oh, interesting, you see that? It took the output and flipped it over here. That's interesting. Okay, now I want to, this isn't powered, and we'll go here. We'll have to, maybe I should put this over here, the case. Uh, because then it's closer to the LTN combinator. I think I will do that. So let's go ahead and square that away. Now, what I'll do is I'm going to, I'm going to put this here and then we'll underground it over here. So this way I can load up the, the phosphorus rock and then we'll process the rest of it over here. And... I'm going to take this stuff here. Let's see here. Um, can I depower? I can't depower this or unpower it. Oh, um, I'll put that here. Maybe I could flip it. Yeah, see, look, it's got the little thing there. Ah, cool. I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, let's go over here and. I'll put that there. That there. I want to empty this out so it goes in here. God, that beeping is insidious. Okay, I got to go here. There we go. So I want to wipe, clear this out. Right, stop. Oh, because I'm a dingus. There. Okay. There we go. And now I gotta move this thing here. Okay, toss that in there. The main goal here is to keep everything kind of centrally located here because there's so much going on and I don't wanna bog down the build to process the, the rock on site. I'd rather just pull it, you know, do everything here and then it makes the aluminum easier. Uh, and then we have it on hand for later on when we unlock the other tech. I'm going to speed this up and get the aluminum part done here. So what we're working on is we got this. We'll do the jaw crushing. I'll bring sand in, wash it, bring ash in, combine it with all this stuff here. We'll, we'll do the, you know, obviously the crushing here. We'll have to have a trash train pickup. Ooh, you know, I just thought of something. I could crush this on site. I think I will. Yeah, we'll do a jaw crusher. We'll go stone to gravel to sand, and then we'll use, and then we'll purify it. Now, if I need to bring in a sand train, I will. However, that sand train has 4,000 on it, so I'd rather bring, bring a stone train in. So I think I'll go that route. Okay, and then pressure furnace to get the phosphorus acid. We need the steam generator and that will separate this out actually, this here, because we need the steam up here as well. So we'll just do one steam generator here and there uh, at, on site for both here. Okay, and then we gotta bring wood in. Now, again, I don't know what the heck we're gonna do with this. We'll have, to, I'll tank it up and I might have to monitor it until we can get rid of it, but I wanna use this better aluminum stuff Let's see. So then uh, another pressure furnace to get rid of the gas. So we'll loop that back into there. And then we're in the aluminum realms here. And then we'll bring this, only this up. As you can see, that's a lot right here. That's quite a bit of processing. And I'd rather do it here. We've got plenty of room and stuff. Okay, well, let's speed it up.
Whew. Boy, I tell you. Yeah. Now you Yeah, you can see why this made sense to do in an outposted area. <laughs> oh wow. It's a lot, man. This is this thing just blew up on me. I mean I I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. Where's this thing going? Okay, we'll go now. Yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna put this over here for now. And we'll do empty. Get rid of that. Oh. There we go. Okay. Yeah. And so hydrofluoric acid, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tank it up here. But what I'm thinking of doing is um, a little offshoot and have a pickup area maybe for the hydrofluoric acid. There's a lot going on here. And I want to key it up before I get uh, my mind is uh, there's so much going on. I want to make sure it all works. Before I go any further, without further ado, bonk! <laughs> One belt to rule them all. And then we get the... Now, I don't know... Another thing I don't know about is if this stone is going to be enough sand for the purified sand. So we'll have to, I might have to bring in a TSM stone train. Which is not a big deal. That's a lot of stone. This, I, But this chews up stone pretty good. It's four to three, and then... The sand is, uh, and then it's a four to four to three on that too. So it's a pretty good reduction. Oh, oh, I forgot. I I need to do this like that. There we go. Easy peasy. There we go. So there's our sand, and there's our phosphorus dust. I think that's what it's called. There comes the sand now. Yeah, this is, uh, it's not a one-to-one, -one, but it'll work. I'm not, I don't sweat the little stuff, you know, like if it's off a little bit. And I have a feeling where I could copy pasta this thing into another phosphorus rock area, you know. Oh, I limited this to five s slots. And I set this to 200, to offer 200, but I don't know. What it stacks to. We could find out, but I'm just going to do it this way. Oh, look at this. There we go. Sand. Uh, 20 sand is quite a bit. It's quite a bit. Oh, it's pure sand, too. Yeah. That's quite a bit. But we'll see how it goes. I mean, we got nothing to lose by doing it this way. Ah, there we go. Got sand now. So, all right. Oh, I forgot to connect this here. Um, we'll go from here to here. B signal. That should be all connected. I forgot about wood. And because it's on TSM, I'm borrowing this uh, here. Let's bring the ash in first. Okay, the ash train will be... Heading along here. There's 5,000 ash in this thing. So it'll take a little while to unload. Okay, how are we doing here? Yep, stacks to 100. So I figure 200 to offer. You know, that's fine. Here's our ash train. Woo! And that'll kick this off. I'm using long-armed. What do you know? It's only four ash, so this should be able to keep up. Yeah, it's doing fine. All right, there we go. We got our first fluid. There it is. Oh, it's going. Um, so I have pumps kind of exporting 
So basically it's going out here. It's prioritizing out this way. It may get this one, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay, look at that. We got it. All right, cool. All right, so that's working. I'm actually questioning doing the pulp one and two processing until later, but I'd like to try it out because I have a feeling it's going to be more of a pro. If I can't do anything with the hydrofluoric acid, I may rethink it. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, that's a lot of wood. <laughs> okay, there it goes. This will close that loop. This thing's a nightmare. I mean, think you six inputs, and we have one solid and one, two, five, like, gas and fluid outputs. It's ridiculous. This thing is nuts. Here's the wood. Yay. All right, this will close that. This will get this kicking up. Now, I'm going to try to vent this, or I could try and turn it into a gas and then uh, have a control valve on it, you know, an 80% valve on it. So I'll play around with this a little bit. There we go. Yeah, granted, it's not much. It's only 10. Well, 10, 10, 20. All right, there we go. Look at that. Oh, the gas is coming in here. I'm capturing it here and sending it out. So I'm trying to capture it, but right now I want the fluid more than anything. This, yeah, it's filling up the uh, the pump first. 380, there we go, 400, and bonk. Now we got it. Phosphoric acid. This may not ha net us anything uh, after a long time. Oop, something happened here. Ah, we're running out of the other stuff here. Yeah, it's the sand. Okay, so we got through the, the backlog there. So just as I thought, the sand is going to be a problem here because we're relying on the stone from this process here. Okay. Look at that. So there's your problem. This backed up now. So the sand stopped. Yep. The only way to get this going, to keep it consistent is by having a stone input yep exactly what i thought and this is a reduction in stone to sand there is an option you know what maybe there i think i got another option okay so <laughs> i went ahead and got some some washers you need soil to make sand Soil plus water makes sand, because we're washing it out. And then we get the byproduct of uh, the muddy sludge. So we're taking the mud component out and, you know, more granule crap left behind. Cool. Yeah, four of them. And so here, did a little belt priority there. This thing still isn't running consistently, even with the, f you know, well, I need more soil to get the washers to run. Uh, you know, I'm just testing this out to see where I'm at. And the way I think I'm gonna go with this is I'll bring the sand in from the base. Well, here's a, let me get rid of the, away from the washers there. Here's the problem right now. As you can see, well, we're wait, well, we have plenty of stone, right? We have a stone mine. We can make more of those. That means we're gonna have more of the Kerrigan, you know. Oh, look at that. We got, so see, we only have 501 stone here. That's it as a waste product. And if you, so what that means is that we're reliant on this sand here. So I, you know, I got lots of sand, but this isn't a consistent sand generator. Yeah, this is fun to do. It's really tricky. This is a tricky little sucker. There's a lot going on here. Oh, and then this has got, I want to test out, you know, I'm going to do, I'm going to put a, a speaker on here before I forget. If it's greater than 90,000, then we set, we are going to be notified. And you want this volume low enough so it doesn't bug you. All right, so that's going to take a million years, but at least we have it stockpiled. And I can tank, I can move this tank over, way over here, and we can pick it up. 
you know, so I'm not worried about that. At least we have it. We're capturing it. I don't want to leave resources on the table, but we have to. We don't. If we can't close a loop, then we got to do what we got to do. Over here. Oh, I forgot to mention. I made a. I had to do this. <laughs> and this is actually off. I, sh I, I had to move these signals back so they're off. Um, but I had to loop around because this is here, you know. Uh, technically, this will. Well, this is going to be coming out eventually. All this mess here eventually you know all this rail this is done uh the zinc yard the zinc um uh ore yard zinc ore so that's done all right i'm having a blast i'm having fun this was a cool little process it was a little daunting but i think uh, i think we did it let's work on aluminium so what i'm going to do i'll run over here i'll grab the materials at our our thing and we'll get cracking on copper we're going to start we're going to we're going to get that molten component uh, on LTN. And then we'll, I'll swing over and I'll do the copper one off screen. But I'll, I'll in between the cut here and I'll do a speed up on it. So I'll have to get, uh, like I said, I think what's going to have to happen, I'm going to have to pull off of here, go down here. And then uh, I'll branch off of here. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. And then we'll do an LTN, a molten copper LTN stop here. Yeah, I like it. Cool. I'm really excited about it. I'll see you in the speed up section. Enjoy.
Okay, this aluminum is a pain in my butt. Oh my god. All right, well, let's get this stuff here. Get the show on the road here. Okay. Aluminium ore, and we'll go over things. Okay, there we go. Whew. We got aluminium. 
Oh, there's some uh, interesting developments that I had to fix. I had a problem with the hot air. The bricks... Um, something happened here. I ran out of... Oh, I think I didn't have... I don't have enough machines here to keep this going. And henceforth, all the bricks got... The warm bricks got... Weren't... You know, I wasn't processing the warm bricks into hot... Warmer bricks to get the regular bricks back here to keep this whole system going. So I thought that was kind of interesting. There we go. All right. How are we doing here? Okay, there we go. Let's see. Five. Well, this is... An, it's only calling for one, which I find odd. I don't know. Maybe Hellmod's being dumb. I hope Hellmod's mod's not being dumb. Play a lime. Okay. This here, um, I didn't have the wire connected, so that train is going to sit there until it's empty. And, whoop, there we go. We got an aluminium, baby. We got it. I'm trying the a, a vertical build here. The problem is that if I want to get some, well, this train isn't going to be here as often, which is the, the gravel pickup. And the gravel is pretty minimal from this build. And I considered, well, maybe I can grind the gravel up and, you know, make it into sand. But it's better just to get it out of here. This concerns me. Why did it, why did Helmod only resolve this? I think because it's 63. That it's going to, you know, the, with the hot air, the aluminium is 63. Okay. Come on. Let's go. Well, it's going to take a while to burn that hot air up. Wow. Yeah, see, I thought I might need to... Um... Nah, you know what? I think I'm fine. Because I'm, f I'm fine the way it is here. Because the, the, see how fast it takes for that molten stuff to pop? Oh, here. This is the uh, molten aluminum train right here. That's going to be uh, uh, the LTN pickup for it. So what I'm going to do is... This is the molten aluminum here. Um, I could pop off of here and go up, or, well, I'll probably extend out this way and go up, connect to here, and the, I have this set to 7,000 to shut off, because I don't want a whole tank of molten aluminum sitting here, it doesn't make sense to keep this running, especially when you need it. The problem is that this is very long. Right, so you, well, consider all things considered. If I wanted to pick off here, I don't have a train length between these two stops here. What I might have to do is forego using the power poles as a key, and I'll have to just go down enough for a train length between here, or well, better yet, here, depending. Uh, so, no matter which way I'm going, this way or this way, uh, you, I want a train length between. So it's not blocking. And, and also, a train's not sitting way up here when it can be down here. So I think what I'll do is I'll, I'll forego the power pole concept. And I'll place the power poles as needed to draw power over from the middle here. So I like this idea. And now, the other thing I wanted to look at was how i'm not going to be able to get an accurate representation here so if i do this the width of the build i would say is about the same see and well the way the yard is uh, the yard has to, i had to loop the yard up this way in order to accommodate for the loading this is going to make uh make it wider a uh, longer and I think that would change, maybe. Well, not really. Well, oh, this would come down further. Because I had to, well, yeah, so if I do, the if I forego trying to use the power poles as keys for where I'm picking off and stuff, I could I could have got this further down here because I got a lot of dead space here. And I don't like, dead space is usually something you want to go, you want to try and fill. But this was a big challenge trying to get all this to work. It's, it's doable, but it was kind of uh, tricky. 
to get this. Aluminium is a pain in the butt, man. And then we got this stuff here. Yeah, I don't know. It was pretty cool, though. I had, I had fun playing it, uh, building it, though. Okay. Oh, and you know what? Oh, I want to stop this because I wanted to pull the aluminium out of the base. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll pull those. And I'll put these here. Yeah. Okay. So it'll buffer the belt. And it, well, that's basically stopped it almost right there. <laughs> Very cool. But we're one step. One, oh, I'm going to set up. Uh, once I get the everything bled out. Oh, you know what? I could do. Let's do this real quick. Um. Uh, I don't. I want to run this for this right now. Voila! Yay! We got molten aluminum. So what this is gonna do is set up for the, set us up for the derillium, derillumin. All right, let's end it there. We got aluminium. We did it. Okay. We're making progress. <laughs> I'll take care of this train. And then next episode, we'll do the Duralumen. Duralumen. Look at that. We are down to five trains. Well, actually, no. We're down to four trains. And one is pretty much a done deal. So we're down to three. We'll work on the, the glass next episode. We'll get the glass out of here. And then it's small parts, and then we'll work on the green circuit. So it went well. I'm happy with it so far, but I'm going to stress test it, and I'll let you know what kind of bug fixes I have in this system here. Okay, let's end it here. Oh, what are you doing? Okay, it's down to 4,300 now. It's only 50 at a time or something or whatever. 100, 100 or 50. So it's going to take a minute to get this out of here. All right, I'll see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. Okay, and peace out.